Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Co here with this week's social emotional story. This week you guys have been learning all about managing disappointment. You feel disappointed when things don't go your way or if you don't get what you want. We all feel disappointed sometimes. There's hope though. When you feel disappointed, you can always do things to help make yourself feel better. One way to do this is by taking belly breaths. We're going to practice. I want you guys to take your hands and put them right on your belly or on your stomach. And we're gonna practice taking a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. When we breathe in, we're gonna feel our belly expand. And when we breathe out, we're gonna feel our belly go back in. Let's try it. Put your hands on your belly and breathe in and out. Try it one more time. Take a deep breath in and blow out. Nice job, boys and girls. Before we get started with today's story, let's repeat our listening rules. Eyes watching, ears listening, voice quiet, body calm. Today's story is titled Smile, and the author is Lee Hodgkinson. Mom says I can't have any more cookies until dinner, and that includes crumbs and broken pieces. By the way, I am definitely not sulking. I am not particularly chipper or chirpy either. Usually, these things are me in a nutshell, but not today. This is because I've just realized something terrible. I have lost something very, very important. What I've lost is my smile. I wish I could find it. If I had my smile, Everything would be nice and normal indeed. See, I love to smile. Smiling is one of my favorite hobbies. Smiling makes me feel sunshiny and as fresh as a daisy, whatever the weather. My dad says I should try to remember where I last saw it. And I think ridiculous. If I knew that, then it wouldn't be lost, would it? Dad says, I'll just have to look for it. But looking for things is so boring. If I was a multi-eyed alien, finding lost things would be super speedy. I'm not a multi-eyed alien, though. I'm just me. Maybe my smile has fallen under my bed, so I look for it, but it isn't there. Even though everything else seems to be. Perhaps I dropped it on the floor? If there is a floor under all of this stuff, I don't think I have ever seen it. It could be in an ocean made of wibbly wobbly jello for all I know. I suppose I had better clean up. This is highly unusual, but I'm desperate. No smile to report here. Only one unhiggedly piggedly bedroom and no jello. But what if I didn't lose my smile? What if somebody took it? Well, I don't think it was glitter gills. Cheer up, glitter gills. Maybe a sprinkle of fishy flakes will do the trick. Aha! Maybe the twins took it. They ask me what I'm up to, so I tell them, and they just giggle. However, I don't think they're to blame this time, as their smiles are much bigger than mine and much more annoying. My smile is exactly the right shape and size just for me. 
It simply wouldn't suit anybody else. So if it isn't in my bedroom, and it hasn't been stolen, it must be lost in the big wide world. But it will take ages to look there. Maybe I'll quickly check the rest of the house first. Mom says that most lost things in this house can be found in the following places. Number one, the sofa. Number two, pockets. Number three, Mr. Honeycomb's basket. Oh look, one of dad's flip flops. I think this is the flop one. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll just have a quick game with Mr. Honeycomb. He is one smart cookie. Five games later, Mom finds me and says that my spick and span room is a complete miracle. She also says that I'm a sweet pea for feeding glitter gills and playing with Mr. Honeycomb. I think Mr. Honeycomb agrees. You found it, says the twins. And I say, found what? We knew it would turn up, said the twins. And I say, knew what would turn up? And they say, your smile. Oh, I had forgotten all about that. I was far too busy playing and having fun. Um, let me see. And smiling. The end. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today's story. In our story, this girl was so disappointed, but she found other things like cleaning her bedroom and feeding the fish and playing with her dog to be able to have fun. She managed her disappointments by finding something else to do. When you feel disappointed, you can also find something else to do. You can also practice taking your belly breaths. This week, I want you to practice naming your feeling when you feel disappointed. When you don't get something you want or something doesn't go your way, you can say, I feel disappointed. And then you can take some of your belly breaths to help you feel better. See you next time.